What is going on fellow fishing adventurers? If you're new to the channel, my name is Hudson and today we are going to be starting one of the biggest projects, DIY projects I've done on my channel yet. This is the first video of a multi-video part series where we are gonna be building my second DIY backyard bass pond. Yes, you heard me right. We are building a second backyard bass pond. And uh, real quick, I want to clarify something. If you've been watching the videos for a while now, you've probably um, seen the first three-part video series um, on me and my dad building my first backyard bass pond. And I want to say something real quick. This new pond is not at all replacing that old pond. That old pond's running great. I love it. We're going to continue to see videos on it. Don't worry. This new pond I'm building solely because I love that other pond so much and I want to be able to have more fish, more aquatic life in my backyard. For the last pond, we built it with supplies off a website called thepondguy.com. I love the website. It has amazing reviews, um, amazing ratings, everything, great pricing, and their customer service is incredible. I've emailed back and forth with them a lot since I built that first pond. They're really, really nice people over there. I'll have thepondguy.com linked down in the description below. And I'm very, very happy to announce that for the second Backyard Bass Pond build, we will yet again be using supplies from the pond guy. But this time it's gonna be a little bit different because we are actually using a pond kit from the pond guy. We're gonna be using the all clear ecosystem pond kit. This kit comes with everything you need to build your very own DIY pond. In a minute, I'm gonna show you all more in depth to what it comes with, what all the components do. And over this three part video series, we are going to be showing y'all how you, everything from excavate your pond to finish it up, Y'all can learn everything you need to learn on this video series on how to build your very own DIY pond. And you may be wondering why I would be um, building this pond with a pond kit versus the old one, which we built everything, you know, separate. We bought everything separate. separate. And there's a few reasons for that. One, it's a lot cheaper to buy it all together. Um, like buying in bulk, you're just gonna get all the stuff together once, so it saves you a lot of money. Two is because you know, when we built that first one, we had to find the right liner size, we had to find the right pump size, we had to find the right filter size. This kit, once you find the dimensions of the pond you want, you can just find those dimensions in the website and order that kit and you're gonna get the right size pump, liner, filter, everything for that pond. So the pond that we're gonna be building in this three-part video series is gonna be about eight feet by nine feet um, in length and width, and then about two and a half feet deep. So this is the 11 foot by 16 foot pond kit. It's gonna work perfectly. This pond kit builds up to about a 2,000 gallon pond, which is big, and I can't wait to see that. Once you find out how big you want your pond, depth, length, width, everything, you can actually go to an online pond calculator on the pondguy.com. I'll have a link below, and you can just enter all the dimensions in your pond, and it'll tell you what size liners you'll need. So now I'm gonna be showing y'all what you are going to get in the All Clear Ecosystem Pond Kit. One of the great things about this kit is that it is designed for maximum filtration, which is great since I like to have fish, turtles, crawfish, all sorts of stuff in my ponds, plants, um, so it, the water can get dirty. And this kit is centered around the all clear UV filter, which is going to give you maximum filtration, like I said, keeping your pond crystal clear. So first up, we have the all clear pressurized filter with a UV bulb. This is what the pond kit is centered around. There's a UV clarifier. It gets those UV light waves cleaning up the water. Then there's a mechanical filtration with these huge filter pads catching debris from your pond. This will help it crazy, you know, clean out everything. And last but not least is the benefit of beneficial bacteria. The beneficial bacteria will grow colonies on these pads, which is great for your pond. It keeps the water really healthy and it's really good for aquatic life, such as fish, plants, turtles, everything like that. Then you're going to get a 45 milliliter thick EPDM liner. A lot of people think that you can just build ponds out of any old real cheap liner, tarps, roofing materials, stuff like sprinklers went off and stuff like that but you are not going to want to do that it can be bad for your aquatic life it doesn't look good and those can tear pretty easily the 45 milliliter thick EPDM liner is not only super strong it's very fish safe and aquatic life safe all sorts of stuff like that but it is also very durable in the EPDM. It's not gonna wear down in sun and stuff. So that is awesome that you get this in this kit. Then you get your underlayment. And underlayment is pretty self-explanatory. It goes under your liner. It's gonna protect the liner. It won't grow mold or anything. It's this very durable and nicely designed fabric. And it's just, like I said, gonna protect your liner. It's easy to install. Then you get the Pond Guy Clear Spring 16 inch mini waterfall filter. So what the waterfall filter is, is this is where after your pump pumps the water through the filter, 
it's then going to pump it into this and it's going to this is where the water is going to beautifully cascade into your pond this thing comes with everything you need you got all the mounting brackets you want you got a few different options and then you actually have a few more filters hence the name a waterfall filter so it comes with two filters the super fine media and then a little bit you know more loose media and then you also have bio balls bio balls are great for growing beneficial bacteria similar to the all clear next up is the pump so this pump is the solid flow this is a 3600 gallon per hour one the last one we used in the old pond was 1250 but this pump is an awesome pump so a really good way to look at your pump is like a heart a heart circulates blood through your body and keeps you alive this pump circulates water through your ecosystem and it keeps your pond alive. So you've already heard me talk about the pump, the filter, and the waterfall filter, but you may by now th be thinking, how the heck am I gonna move all this water from the pump to the filter to the waterfall filter? Well, that's a good question and that is where the kink-free tubing comes in. So the kink-free tubing is gonna be your plumbing that hooks everything together. All sizes of this kit come with 50 feet, which should be more than enough for however size pond you're building, gets it back to the waterfall. And this stuff is kink-free tubing, so it's not gonna ever kink or get bent or anything. It's gonna keep the water flowing solid. And it's also really thick and durable and heavy duty, so you're not gonna have any leaks in it or anything. Then your kit will come with one can of waterfall foam. And if this looks familiar, it's because we used this in the last Backyard Bass Pond build. What this does is you can spray it around your waterfall, stream, whatever you wanna build, where your waterfall is gonna cascade into the pond. And this helps divert and direct water whichever way you want down your waterfall, making it look and sound better. So basically, this is a can of waterfall customization. And last but not least, in the all clear, ecosystem pond kit, you're going to be getting a little pack or pretty big tub actually of nature's defense beneficial bacteria. Now bacteria has a lot of bad press nowadays and while there are certain types of bad bacteria that can make you sick and stuff, beneficial bacteria is definitely not one of those. Bacteria is in every ecosystem including ponds and while like I said it can have some bad effects, beneficial bacteria is a very important key thing to your pond's health survival everything this is natural beneficial bacteria that instantly activates as it hits water and multiplies every 20 to 40 minutes to start digesting the dead organics in the pond such as fish waste uneaten fish food or turtle food anything like that dead leaves in your pond that would normally just murk up the water this stuff is going to start to break it down naturally and i think that's pretty dang cool now that y'all know everything you can expect to get in the all clear ecosystem pond kit we can start to excavate our pond which is going to be part one of this three-part video series and you may be thinking right now that the pond pretty much looks all dug out and that's because it is i'm filming this after i finished um digging it all up building a retaining wall all sorts of stuff and i'm gonna be throwing y'all back the rest of this video i'm gonna be throwing y'all back to a few weeks before when i started working on this it's crazy to think that just a few weeks ago this was just native grass and a little slope and now it is a fully excavated pond. I'm going to be rolling y'all through a quick time lapse of everything I did to dig out the pond. I'll be kind of showing all the steps as we go. And in part two, we are going to start putting the liner, the filtration, all the sort of technical stuff in. And then we can start scaping the pond. I cannot wait. Huge thanks to the pond guy for the awesome stuff they make. Let's go start digging a pond. So the first step to building your DIY pond with the All Clear Ecosystem Pond Kit, or really any pond, is going to be determining what size your pond is, um, what you know the dimensions are of how big you want to make your pond. Like I mentioned, our pond is going to be nine feet by eight feet and two and a half feet deep. Once you get those dimensions, you can go into the online pond calculator on the pondguy.com, which I'll have a link below. Enter those dimensions, find out what size kit you need, and then you can go ahead and order your all clear ecosystem kit. Once you do that, you can go ahead and mark out where you want your pond. It helps to kind of have some sort of general outline. You can use a garden hose, you can use a marking spray paint. As you can see here, I use some yellow Home Depot flags. And then once you do that, you can start excavating your pond. But real quick, um, something a little bit unique that I have to do that most of y'all won't have to do is before I excavate my pond, you may notice I'm actually building up a retaining wall out of rock. That's because I live in South Texas where you can basically not dig down more than a foot without hitting solid bedrock. And as you will see later on the time lapse of me digging, I sure did hit some bedrock. So I knew this in advance from the last Backyard Bass Pond build. So I went ahead and built up a retaining wall with a little bit of help from my buddy Parker. Thank you. 
and um, we built up that retaining wall so that I could fill in dirt and help gain some depth for our pond. So I'm not gonna show too much footage of this because like I said, you will most likely not have to do this. You can just dig straight down. But if you do, this is a quick and easy solution is build a retaining wall and fill in some dirt. And now I'm going to put about three weeks of hard pickaxing into a 30 second time lapse. <laughs> Once I had the retaining wall built, me and my dad made a few trips to our local dirt yard, picked up some dirt, and I started filling up the retaining wall area, leveling it out, and it looks really good. Like I mentioned earlier, we did sure indeed hit some bedrock, and as you can see here, I ended up hitting one that weighed over 5 100 pounds and me and my dad thought that there was no way that we could lift it So we tried multiple different approaches with our tractor and our golf cart trying to you know pull it out with straps And eventually we got my dad's truck in the backyard Tied a strap to the rock and we thought nothing could go wrong There's no way that the truck couldn't pull it out Well, we were wrong and it probably didn't help that I was oh, the one driving the truck Yep, you saw the strap blew up. We found that strap like 100 feet away in our yard and we're very, very fortunate that none of us got hurt or the truck's back window was not shattered. But we actually were able to end up get like shovels up under the rock and manually labor, get that dang thing out of there. And just like that, our hole is fully excavated, our retaining walls built and filled, and I will meet y'all in the outro. Thank y'all so much for watching this video. It is so awesome that we are building yet another backyard bass pond. Once again, a huge thanks to the pond guy for the incredible pond supplies they make. I will have the all clear ecosystem pond kit and the pondguy.com link down in the description below if y'all want to go check it out and I would highly recommend you order your very own all clear ecosystem pond kit and stay tuned for part two and three of this video. They're going to be coming out very very soon and then that is when we're going to be putting in the liner, the filtration, scaping the pond. We are going to be actually moving some of my pet bass and some other ponds I have in the garage and stuff over to here. It is going to be so, so awesome. Thank y'all for watching. Thanks to the Pond Guy yet again. I will see y'all in the next Pond video. Peace out.